morning, everybody. We're getting our day started. We got our Tim Hortons here. And I just want to give you a heads up. I picked up a bunch of packages that you guys sent me. I always appreciate when you guys do send stuff. Look at that big old bug splat right there. Huh, he wanted to come along to Kenora, so I said, why not? Just hop on the windshield there, come on with me. So we're going down the same road we went yesterday in the personal vehicle. Except this time we're not going to the lake, we're going to work. Picking up a load of lumber. We're going to tarp it. Well, first we're going to tie it down, and then we're going to tarp it. And then we're going to head down to Brainerd. After Brainerd, we're going to unload there in the morning. <coughs> After Brainerd, we're going to point our nose down south towards Iowa. Davenport, Iowa. There's a load there waiting for us load that up and that load is taking me on multiple drops into western Canada but for me I'm just taking it to our yard in Manitoba and we'll see if I continue on with it from there I think I'm gonna hold on to it and just go through with it just go home for a reset on the way but we'll, uh, we'll see how that all works out when we get there across that bridge when we get to it right let's cross this bridge first let's get loaded I'm in a little bit of a rush hanging out in the left lane here I gotta get there before they close up because I have to get loaded today. up we are off to Brainerd we are that was a nice quick in and out two hours not bad two hours from the time I got to the gate 
I got checked in, I got loaded, I got tied down, I got scaled, I got my paperwork, I sent it off to customs, or well, to the office who sent it to customs. I got tarped and I left the yard, just over two hours. Not bad. All right, it's our favorite, well, our second favorite blind corner. Our first favorite is uh, Highway 59 south of Winnipeg, if you guys remember that. I call it Suicide Corner. When you're turning off the uh, southwestbound perimeter onto southbound 59. That is Suicide Corner. This is uh, just holy moly corner. Watch out. So you can't see traffic coming around here. Speed limit is 90, but they're coming around here at like 110. No one seems to be coming, you put on your four ways and you hope that they're paying attention. At least we got the downhill here, which helps us speed up a little faster. I'm sitting at about 78,000 pounds. Enough weight to crush anybody who gets in my way. So just heads up, stay out of the way. turned out pretty well actually so we got 300 miles down to Brainerd gonna unload in the morning and then it's an eight-hour drive down to Davenport Iowa where I'll load the following morning and head back home I'm guessing I'll probably be home not the day that day but the next day Ah, uh, we'll figure that out then. Like I said earlier, cross that bridge when we come to it. Tomorrow, let tomorrow worry about itself. Today's got enough worries. That's kind of sad I didn't get a chance to jump in the lake yesterday. It was a little cooler. And we didn't have quite enough time. But we did get to go out on the boat. So that was fun. At least we got out on the water, right? Is it really a summer if you don't get out on the water at least once? This episode of the Wi Files is brought to you by the Echofish Talking Flushy. Yes, that's it. I'm stopped here near the US border in Fort Francis and I got a, a package in the mail all the way from Germany from Mario from Mario thank you there's so much stuff in here and like any good European he sent chocolate the Europeans love their chocolate I gotta say some of this, I've never tasted these kind of lint before. I've got to be very careful to save some for Brit because they are really good. I can't read anything on the package. It's all in German. But uh, <clears throat> let me try. Van Immer wo Immer Zylinder. Guineben est ist ein magischer Moment. Wein die fin chocolate and hul brick verfüllt die undelhein and 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 Oh, that's a hard one. Zartschemelzende fuel in der scene in trade sea sanft davon. Ein moment pure and chocolate deluxe. I'm so sorry. Am I close? I'm not even trying to be funny. That was my best try. 
Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, my, an my ancestors may have lived in Germany, but I am 100% Canadian through and through. I understand a lot more French, and I speak English. But uh, I, 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 my parents could probably still read this. I bet you they could. Yeah, Mom could read this. She would know what this was all about. My mom and dad both speak and uh, read German. Low German and High German. The German you speak in Germany would be High German. Low German would be Plotdeutsch. It's a slang mixture between Dutch, German, Ukrainian, all the different places where the Mennonites were since the 1500s. But me, 100% uh, Canadian. Uh, but I love European chocolate. Thank you so much. There's more. 27 gratis. That is awesome. I probably butchered that so bad. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tastes delicious though. And these are the original. Okay. Oh, there's more! God, I love the Europeans. You guys always send chocolate. Always. Especially the Germans. So we have a lot of Germans moving into our region. It's a German region of Canada. Like my ancestors moved here like hundreds of years ago. And to this day, there's still more and more Germans moving in. And my mom does accounting, and she speaks German. So the immigrants coming in that are from Germany have an accountant to go to right away that can speak their native language, which makes it very convenient for them, right? But uh, they always, always bring chocolate as a gift. It's just a German thing to do. Oh, look, and there's a shirt for me. <laughs> he says specifically in his letter, no, the shirt, the Mickey Mouse shirt is not for you. This is for Theo. That is awesome. Britt is going to love this stuff. I can't wait to bring it home to her. Oh, what else is in here? Something in here. Oh, it's just a tag. Do they have Disney World in Germany? Do they have a German Disney World? That's cool. That is cool. He bought me a shirt here too. This is the his uh, hometown hockey team in Germany. I take it they play hockey in Germany too. Good, good. You can practice so that when you come to Canada, you fit right in. There's a toque. And another little outfit for Theo here. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's cool. Thank you, Mario, and your family. Thank you for sending that to me. That is, uh, that's very nice of you. Look at this, a custom-made card. Welcome, Theo. Congratulations, Josh and Britt. Baby boy, Sam and Shannon Myers. I just read your card here. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I came with a big gift. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And these are, like, beads. You see that? Amazing. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. Can't wait to show Britt this too. And look what else came. You spelled my last name right. That's impressive. <laughs> and the truck is very impressive too. But you'll be surprised how many people how many people misspell Giesbrecht. I really appreciate this. Thank you. And it's extra special that it's spelt right. <laughs> That's awesome. This is from Tina Tim Dorothy Gu Guin. I'm so sorry if I spelled your la if I pronounced your last name wrong. Don't worry, everyone pronounces my last name wrong too. So I know how you feel, and that's why I feel terrible for probably pronouncing that wrong. But thank you so much for your gifts and your nice letter here. I really appreciate it. Handwritten in cursive gives me uh great joy to see that cursive writing is still making it making making an appearance that is awesome thank you guys they also stitched these one for each dog chevy frank wiener and diesel all right so i've sort of got like the first stage of things organized i still have about 10 to go we're gonna do the rest when we stop tonight I'm probably gonna stop in deer river
for now we're gonna go up to the border crossing, cross into the US and make our way further south. Make sure we're not gonna cut anyone off here. Looks like we're all clear, we're all clear. Giggity giggity. Let's go. That's the toll to get back into Canada. They charge you to get into Canada, but it's free to cross into the US. So they really want you to come down and visit here in International Falls, but they don't want you to go home. They'll charge you to go home. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, we got some action here. Okay. Which way are you going, bud? Which way are you going? You're probably going that way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. An ambulance of sorts. Which means we should keep our eyes open for other emergency vehicles. There's a tip from Trucker Josh for you. Where there is one, there is usually more. Whether it be a cop, a fire truck, or an ambulance, if you see one, there's usually another one coming. Heads up, bud. Thank you. So I'm gonna slowly drive through town here, always keeping my eyes open for where I can move out of the way of the next ambulance or the fire or the police that are following them. See here, these pickups are parked here, so I'd have to get in front of them real quick so that the ambulance can get past. There's a traffic light coming up ahead. If an emergency vehicle comes up behind you and there's no way for them to get through the intersection and you're blocking it, if they're behind you, you honk your horn and you go through the intersection. You go through that red light. You get out of the way. Well, obviously make sure that there's no oncoming traffic, right? But do whatever you gotta do to get out of their way. You gotta go through the intersection, you go through the intersection and get out of their way. I always go way too slow through this town. I'm sorry, International Falls. I'm, I'm that guy. I'm that America, uh, that, <laughs> I'm that Canadian. come visit your town and then I drive way too slow through your streets and you all get upset at me. Still going too slow. I just feel like I should be going slower through this section. I don't feel comfortable doing the speed limit here so I always go slower. I mean you got schools on this side, you got residential houses on this side. Usually there's kids playing on the front in their front yards here. I mean I don't Speed limit's 30 miles an hour. It's like 50 kilometers an hour. I just I feel more comfortable doing like 30 kilometers an hour. Which would be like 20 miles an hour. And then right around here after this football field then it opens up a little bit more. Then I don't mind doing the speed limit. So we made
made it to Deer River. Seems to be a common stopping place for me, I know. It was a good day, you know, we started from home, got an early start, got loaded in Kenora, and uh, meandered our way down. This is a very familiar route for all of us now already, for you watching and for me driving. So sometimes I feel like I maybe skip out on filming some stuff because I'm like, oh, they've seen this already. Oh, they've seen that already. Oh, they've seen this already. And then I edit it. I'm like, oh, I should have included that. Oh, I should have included that too. Well, that would have been nice to include. Ah, well, you know, it's a learning process still. I've been vlogging here for what, 12 years now? And eh, there's no plans to stop. So, you know, we got to keep trying to find new things to film every day. That's the challenge. Trying to find new things to film, new things to talk about. But anyways, today's over. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Just go down below the video, just make sure you are subscribed. If you don't mind right now, just take that two seconds to go down there. I'd really appreciate that. If you did like the video, if you leave a like for me and a comment, it helps with the algorithms to recommend it to new people. And also, if you're watching this off of like my, my uh, Facebook account, my Twitter account, or Instagram, or threads, or something like that, if you don't mind sharing it or retweeting it or reposting it there too, that helps me out a lot too. Or you can just show up here again tomorrow because there'll be a new video tomorrow. I'm trying to release my videos at 4 a.m. every time now. 4 a.m. Central Time. That's what I used to do way back in the day, like years ago. And that's where my audience really started to grow really quickly when I had consistent release times because that it just helps people to be able to know when there's going to be a new video, right? It's easier to tell people like, oh, there's going to be no video today than tell them every single day, oh, it's going to be released at 2 o'clock or 5 o'clock or 3 o'clock or 10 o'clock or not at all. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to get back on the schedule of releasing at 4 a.m. Central Time every day. So I'll see you right here at 4 a.m. Central Time. Take care and good night.